Good friends, welcome to this tutorial on how to make a flower inside of clear gelatin. The recipe for this clear gelatin will be available for you on a PDF, the same as the recipe for the preparation needed to, um, to make the flowers that you're going to be using inside a syringe. We're going to be using today a simple syringe from the pharmacy store and I'm keeping my syringe in uh, warm water so the tip of the syringe or the needle won't clog. For starting the flower we're going to need a, a round cutter just to mark the center of the flower. This is a big re recipient usually I do my flowers or the individual flowers and in smaller ones but today I decided to make a bigger one so you can see even better. This is a little foggy from the difference of temperature from the uh, from the fridge and the, the outside here in the kitchen, but it's I, I'm sure you can see perfectly well. It's quite transparent. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm always keeping my syringe inside the warm water so it won't clog. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the um, the round cutter into the warm water and I'm gonna mark, let me just move this a little bit so I can see where the center of the flower will be. I think here is just fine. So I'm just gonna press here and now I have a marking here where my flower is going to be. We're going to be doing a chrysanthemum. It's the easiest one to make. It's very simple to do. You just have to follow a few steps that I will show you in just a second. Now, this is the preparation that is made with creams and gelatin and some edible colors. So you can add any color you want. The base is white, but then you add any of the colors that you want. Recipes will also be available for you on a PDF. In, this one has to be kept warm as well, otherwise our syringe is going to clog. So to introduce this preparation into the syringe, we need to remove, actually I'm going to put the lid here because we don't want to pinch ourselves. I'm going to remove the needle and introduce the tip of the syringe inside the preparation. Take it out, just like that. And you're going to need some uh, paper to clean this, a paper towel to clean this, so you won't create a clog here in top of where the needle is going to be placed. So just clean or remove the excess of preparation from the tip. And if you see any air bubble, just as you will do with a syringe, just remove it from the tip of the syringe. Let's clean it one more time. There you go. Okay, to remove this from here, then you put back the lid with the needle and place it into warm water. Just make sure that the liquid comes out. Perfect. Keep it in warm water so your syringe won't clog. Now, for this part, we're going to start creating the center. This works like this. You work backwards, so the flower is actually going to be seen in this side. Um, we're going to start from the center out. The idea here is to always keep a steady um, pressure into the syringe that we know that there's always liquid coming out. That is the idea. Okay, and absolutely perpendicular. I hope I'm saying this correct. Very straight. We're going to introduce the needle up and down, always making pressure. Let me show you. Do not touch the bottom because we don't want to cut the gelatin or to break the gelatin. So I'm always making pressure up and down. Right now you're probably only seeing my hands. I will be moving the camera so you will see better. Just so you can see the pressure and I'm very straight coming in and out, always inside of the circle that I mark here. Let me change the angle of the camera so you will see. Okay, so in here, you can see, I'm just going to keep making pressure, going up and down, and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to go all around 
the circle that I mark, okay? It's very important to always have the same amount of pressure so your petals will be even, okay? So I'm just gonna keep going around the circle that I marked. And then I'm just going to fill that circle with lots and lots of little petals. Just go around. So make sure your, your, your petals are straight just by going around the circle and not just in one side. I'm always making pressure here and I like to hold the syringe like that. Just hold it in your hand and always keep the steady pressure here with your thumb. Up and down, up and down. Quite feel. Leave this uh, gelatin on top of the circle because that will create a base. Let me just show you. Now, as you can see, I'm putting back this syringe into the water, the warm water, so it won't clog. And now, I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the center of our flower. Look how pretty it looks. There you go. So that will be the center. As I said, I won't remove this part of gelatin here because this create like a, like a base in the back so I won't see the transparency of the gelatin. Now I'm going to do one more round with the yellow color, but I'm going to open the angle a little bit more so it has the idea that the flower is opening up. Okay, so for the first part or the center of the gelatin, I was doing very straight lines. Now I'm just going to open the angle a little bit more. It's like I'm pointing more or less halfway. You see this line here in the bottom? So it looks like halfway between uh, the here and the line. Um, it's very important that when you um, start creating the flower, always, always work on this center that we mark. Otherwise, you will have petals around this empty space uh, instead of having your petals coming out of the center of the flower. So let me show you. I'm just going to go around like this, changing the angle. See, keeping the same color of the center. I'm always from inside the center of the flower. As you can see, it's not the, the it's not right in the in the mark, but it's from the center out. Keeping more or less the same angle as I go around, and with this hand, I'm just moving around the recipient. These petals are a little bit longer, so I'm just going to create some longer ones here as well. So they will be even, and I'm always doing the same pressure on the flower, okay? On the petals of the syringe, on the syringe for the petals. I'm sorry, guys. I'm distracted. This is mesmerizing. You get very distracted and very relaxed doing this. Okay, let me show you how the flower is opening up now. See? So now it's starting to open, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color so we will have a very colorful flower. Okay, let me just show you how I'm going to clean the syringe so you will have an idea. You can use a different one. I'm going to place the lid here first just to make sure that we don't pinch ourselves. Remove the, um, the excess of the preparation. You can keep it here because you can reuse this one in other flowers or you can keep it refrigerated for a couple of days, put it back in the microwave and you can use it again. So first I just clean the syringe, then I leave some hot water, remember this water is warm, I leave some water in there and clean the needle from the inside out. After that, I take some water with the needle, clean it out, more water, as you can see, it's starting to uh, create some excess here because I'm having trouble bringing the water. But I'm just going to leave it there, the warm water, a little bit and just bring it out. And at the end, just blow air from it. So you will know that it's absolutely clean. Put the lid back on. And I'm going to change this water and I'm going to make a different color for the rest of the flower. So here's the base preparation is 
is made with cream and the gelatin. So it's white, but it has a little bit of a yellowish tone into it. So I'm just going to add, let me just find it. I'm going to add some white coloring or titanium dioxide here into the preparation just to make it a little bit more white. So once I create my white base, it's a little bit wider. I'm just putting this spoon. Okay, it's not as yellow as it was before. Now I want to make it into, let's say I love purple, so I think this flower has to be in a purple tone. However, the purple that I have here is, it's, um, so for the purple, I have this uh, gray color, just a couple of drops. We'll see if this is the tone that we want. Remember that since the base is white, it's very common that the tone will be quite uh, light or pastel. Or this one will turn out quite well. I really like it. It's one of my favorite tones of purple. I think I'm just going to add a little pinch of pink into it because I want it more pink than purple. So with my little spoon, I'm going to take just a tip of pink gel uh, food coloring. You can use any kind of coloring here, gel. The only one you cannot use is, base, is the oil base for chocolate, but you can use, um, you can use oil, you can use water-based color, you can use paste color, you can even use some uh, dust. You can add some sparkle in it and it will look great. Okay, if by removing and adding the colors you feel that the preparation starts to getting uh, thick, just put it a little bit on the microwave, microwave again for a minute, less for 10 seconds, five seconds, for nothing. And, um, and it will be, uh, it won't be so uh, thick again, especially because you don't want this range to be clogged, right? So to take again this preparation, I'm just going to insert this here. Remove or clean this fringe. Okay, and put this again and keep it in warm water like I did before. Now here is my flower that is, we have the center already done. And basically we're gonna keep doing the same that we did here, just moving or changing the angle of the uh, of the petals, right? So I'm going to start from the center out in longer petals and in an open um, angle here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around first. If you want to create movement, just Move around your hand a little bit when you're going in and out. So you will create like different layers of petals in it. Let's just go round and round and see how it looks. If it needs to be longer in any other side. So it's starting to look good, but it looks very empty. We need to add many, many more petals in here, right? So let's just keep adding more petals into this flower and filling these gaps. So it would look like a very full flower. But as you can see, I'm always keeping, getting inside of the gelatin from this center out, okay? Always, so you won't um, you won't damage the look of the flower because otherwise it would look like you have petals swimming around a gelatin instead of an open flower. It's very important to keep this, uh, this angle, okay? Okay, let's check it out. Look how pretty it looks. It's looking so cute. Now I'm gonna keep changing the angle of the flower and opening up a little bit more. Let me 
just show you. So now as you can see here the flower is growing out but i still want to make it a little bit bigger into this because we have a very big uh mold in here right so what i'm going to do in this do it please very carefully just check where the opening of the syringe is right here and just bend a little bit the syringe just a little bit because we don't want to break it or create a clog in there and always make sure that you have preparation coming out and keep it on warm water with this angle now we will be able to reach even long even um, further than with the syringe when it was absolutely straight so as you can see now i'm creating a different angle of flower of petals around this uh, flower but always getting in from the center of the flower. Remember that part. That is absolutely crucial and important, okay? And keep a steady pressure into the gelatin, into the syringe, so your petals will be even, okay? Just keep going until the end, and let's check it out to see if we need a fuller flower. See how it's coming out? However, as you can see, I have like a separation here between these two petals. I'm gonna add more in there. Just go underneath and add a little bit more underneath the, the line that you just made of petals. Change the angle here and there, okay? And you will create a fuller flower. It's okay if this breaks here, don't worry, because we're going to add a color in the base and nobody will see that. See how beautiful this looks? So now you see that the flower is opening up and we still have some preparation here in the syringe. So I'm just going to be adding a few more petals here and there just to finish with what we have. Okay, very good. Like here, we can add a little bit more. And here as well. You can open up the, the angle even a little bit more. There you go, perfect. Okay, and with this, we have our flower. Now let's just, uh, let's just color uh, another uh, bit of gelatin. I'll probably all leave it white, just to create the base of the gelatin. Okay, so with the preparation that I had left for the petals, I'm just going to add some white in here because that way, I'm sorry, move the camera. That way I create a base. I cannot turn it around right now because this now has to go into the fridge uh, for at least half an hour for it to set and once it's ready I will show it and I will remove it from this uh, recipient so you will see the result of it. So here it is it is ready and set it's been about 30 minutes in the fridge as you can see now I can um, I can show you the flower with the white in the bottom looks very nice because it gives a background so now i'm just going to push a little bit uh to get some air inside of the gelatin and remove it from the mold and here it is the result is already out you can see the wobbly of the gelatin it's so cute is out of the mold and ready to be served now this is the part nobody likes is to cut it, the gelatin, but I wanted to cut it just to show you how pretty it looks on the inside as well. Um, try to use a warm uh, 
uh, knife because it will cut better but you can see here how wobbly and how pretty even the little piece of gelatin looks let me show you here the inside it looks so cute this is very simple to make and it will create a beautiful table and a beautiful dessert for your guests and for your clients hope you like it thank you for watching